Back to our everyday living everyone. Just doing an inspection on some of the wire that we're stripping out here. Uh, probably just needs a bit of adjusting and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, on the cards you probably know by the screenshot what, what's going on today. I just thought I'd come down and have a look, see how June's going. That one will have to go again, Dal. Okay, uh, just sit it there like you said. Um, yeah, well, they'll just have to be rerun those ones. Just sit them there and do what you got down here because it's got to be re repressed. Oh, there you go. You must have missed that one. It's got that bloody um, other stuff in it too, isn't it? It's got the. Do what I, I showed you how to do it. Run a ring around with the knife. It gives you something to See, grab onto. Yeah, yeah, I know it's got that. Cotton in it. Yeah. See, it's... Yeah, it's not quite cutting it. No. But... If you put it in the vice, it'll probably come undone. Well, there we go. Oh, you're stronger than I am at the moment. Because yeah. my arm's playing up. <coughs> this is playing up. There yeah. I twisted over the t over this. Oh, okay. But anyway, um, yeah, we're just this one here's this wire here we'll probably restrip out, get it down to the bare copper. We're doing a bit of a sort out what we're doing, what we're not doing. Um, we already got a bin full there of number one insulated. Oh, come off. Dirty stuff, that. You're putting that over there. This is what I mean by number one insulated. There's a whole bin full of insulated wire. It is, well, I class it as number one because it's it's bright. It's bright number one. Um, it's not the single core. It's got so many strands in it, so... I'm just classing it as that, and I think my scrap metal dealer actually does the same thing. Goes as insulated. There's a big, nice, nice big chunk of stuff. Wow, where did that one get in there? We'll leave it in there, darling. It's fine. It's only one bit. It's good. Um, so, yeah, and we've got this over here. This is our number two. Number two down in there. Number one bright in there. I don't know whether you can see it. I'll drag some out. That's the bright stuff. Ooh, they've got some chunkies been there. Um, and our crappy wire down there, Christmas lights and whatever over there. All this here is going to be all stripped out. It's so a dirty job. It is a dirty, dirty job. Uh, it is a dirty, <laughs> dirty job. Oh, well. But anyway, we better get to and do what these screenshot was and get these little motors all done i suppose um so yeah on the agenda is to strip out a couple of these for the copper um their washing machine pump motors fan motors um like these are the pedestal fan motors um this is a pump motor out of a washing machine old style uh these ones here are the common common new pump style that they've got now uh, they do have um, copper on them uh, some of them that I've actually sorted out and if they're fully encased like I'll show you what I'm talking about I've already done a bit of a sort out here oh dear that's a long way down there I've got some motors in there um, if they're hardly encased and molded like that I'll just chuck it in as a motor where the copper's actually inside there so yeah chuck it in as motors Anyway, that's all I do. I've got my tools already, bench all clean. I thought I'd use the top of a washing machine that I'm going to scrap out later on. Won't be doing it today. Yeah, I'll get that. <clears throat> yeah, put that in there. Put the wire in there. Yeah, give me a look. You can take your wire and I'll take the rubbish. So 
So let's get to, we'll clean this down, or we'll do it on the corner here. Push all of our tools over, and we'll start with these big ones here. Have a screwdriver, please. Ah, uh, four. So if I can save my fingers. Save my thumb. And my thumbs. There you go. Thank you. Well, if you do the way I suggested, cut a circle, and you've got an end, and you should be able to pull it through. Okay, you do it your way. All right, we'll put all the bolts and stuff on top. I don't know whether this one's got copper or aluminium wiring, so I want to hang on to the bolts. So if it's a, like that way, if it's aluminium wire, I can put the bolts back in it and class it as a motor. So that's my idea with this. Find out what they are. Even if it's only two bolts holding it, it doesn't matter. Right, give it a scratch before we go anywhere, any further. Uh, we'll go scratchy, scratchy there. That's decent copper. She's coming up as copper. Sweet. So we can continue. And that'll go into metal. Metal is in that bin. <coughs> that can go as metal as well. All of our screws and bolts same spot don't need to be putting this one back together and we'll just set that aside in that one there process him later that's all we're doing today getting it out so we can go through later on and process the copper so we're basically just stripping things out to get the copper out to do that do it that way i may do um all these others a bit different where these ones here the pedestal fan ones um they're a bit harder where you've got to get in with the grinder and that sort of thing i have got it here but it's a big setup where i've got to put a tub underneath here so i catch all the filings and stuff like that so yeah i'm not prepared for that at the moment this one's i think i tested it Give me a look. Yes, I've already tested it. Give it the scratch. Give it each end scratchy. Put that there. Then when we're finished with it, we can move it. So that's all we're doing today. Um, so yeah, I'll pick that one up shortly. That's all of them, yep. Come apart, come apart, come apart. What would we do without tools? Hammer. That was stuck in there. Really stuck. Steel over there, pick up that screw, do this one, ouch, damn, grab a pair of pliers, that'll hold it, get it loose, that one obeyed. Try and prepare for a scrap metal run as well. That's why we're doing what we do. How, how much? Why we're doing so much? Um, yeah. Hopefully, within the next probably two or three weeks, I'll be doing a scrap run. I hope. Try to do it before Christmas. What do you want? Oh, text message from Telstra. Telstra can wait. That over there. Right, we'll get into this hardball one. Yes, we're going to have to cut that off there. There's a bit of alloy there, so we will have to use the grinder. Mind your eyes, everyone. That was 
quick and simple. Probably the only time I'll use the grinder. Get that off there. Uh, I've got to get that plastic off there. That's off that. That's in the rubbish. That's that one. That's that one. That's that one. Yep, okay. We get rid of the main centerpiece first. That way we can get rid of the pump. Oh, it's screwed in there too, is it? Uh, get that off there. Come on. That can come out. That's off. It's got the alloy piece on it. That can stay onto that. Give that a hit. Oh, you come back here. You go in there. Right. Rubbish has fallen off. Uh, what do we got to do now? That one there is actually in the plastic. The plastic's off. Sweet. Cut that wire off. Don't need that wire. Copper, yep. Put him over there with a the little bit of wire they've got. Right, grab that with the pliers. Couldn't be bothered grabbing the right tool. Undo that. All of these little motors, they've got a slight bit of copper on the main steel bar section. I'll show you shortly as soon as I get this out of the road. Oh, that's aluminium. What are they? They may be aluminium spacers. Oh, let it go. I'm not going to fiddle with those. Get it done. Right, now this one here, I would not have a clue on how to get it off. I do now, yes. It pops off that way. Now, what I was talking is, um, I'll show you quickly, I'll give it a cut. Here, there's some copper. It's not easy to get off. Put it down. I've got two hands to cut it with. If you're ever doing these, it's worthwhile getting this extra bit of copper. That's just my opinion. I usually use these just to pull it out. Try and break it off anyway. Right, that's the little bits of copper. And that way you can put your your heavies in your heavies. If, if you've got a scrap metal dealer that does it that way, mine doesn't, he just puts it all as one. Strangely enough. Come on. Better use something else. Smells like rain. So that's a bit of copper. That's that's one lot. I'll put them aside. Just thought I'd show you that, but I will be putting them aside so I can do them a lot later. But yeah, you, you go through and do those, and you get a lot just amount as copper there is what you do in in your windings. So yeah, um, but yeah, we'll be getting that off there. We basically just pull the centers out at the moment. Then we can go through with the hammer. And it's like you've got to have a process for some things. And that's just the way I do it. That's all. 
Sort it out as you go. I wasn't wrong. I can hear thunder. Hello? I can hear thunder. Okay. Oh, could be too. Now, where'd that centre go? Uh, I can't see it. Get a bit closer. The old glasses are on. Go there. Got to pull that out of there and test that. That might be... Might be a different sort of metal. Get it on a hard piece of the bench. That's better. There we go. Had to do that anyway. That's it. That's alloy. Tin. Now, scrape all that junk out of there. That's cast alloy. I want to test that. See what it is. Brass. Good old brass. It might be copper too. Might be copper. This one here. Do the same. Get the hammer out. done screwdriver pop it out spring and that in there there's the other where do I see that there spring there put that back onto there I think it might be brass that's because they don't usually use copper as a bush not that I know it's always been a brass bush that's that one. Yep. Do these. Ooh, that's a grindy job. Here I was thinking it was going to be the last time I used the grinder. Guess I don't we use the guard either. Never have used the guard in my whole entire life. They get in my road, the old guards. That's there. Ah, uh, June prob probably took my screwdriver. She's taken my screwdriver. Oh, well. Do that with that. Pop that down, it's a little tab. Get rid of the alloy, take this metal off there and the rest is alloy. Alloy. Aluminium, as everyone says. Even the rivets are aluminium. <clears throat> Damn, we're gonna have to use the grinder again by the looks of that. I'll come off finicky things. That one's metal. Put that up there for a second. Did I finish that one? No, I didn't. Yeah, go away, don't want to know. Right, that over there. Finish this one off. That can go down there. Oh, 
rubbish. Come on. That there, that there. Next candidate. Oh good, he's got screws. Don't like using the grinder on these. Could be saving them, I suppose, but yeah, couldn't be bothered. Get that many of them, you wouldn't know what to do with them. That's the thing these days. There's an easier way than that, a lot easier way. Undo that tab. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly stuff, eh? Feel free to skip ahead. I think that's another another one there. Go away, fly. Don't want you. Go on, buzz her off. Probably the only fly that'll fly in the screen. I was editing one video and I seen a mosquito. <laughs> I thought, God damn, the camera picks up well. That over there. Good old Coke. That there. Right, that over there. That in there. Next one. Wow, how do you get that one apart? That's a funny one. Majorly. Damn. Plastic there. Here comes the hammer. Oh, plastic. We're gonna have to really look at that one later. I think we get the, that off. That over there. There's another one. Damn, how would you get that apart? Hmm. I don't know. That one I'll have to investigate. Might have to leave those. Here's another one that's got a... Oh, it's got to screw those off. Yes. I think. I think, I think, I think. No. Damn grinder. I should use a drill bit. Down the alloy. Pop those off. I've never... Never often worn gloves while using a grinder. They sort of interfere with my hands. Though I have had a wheel go through that finger and that finger there many years ago. Incorrect use of a grinder when the wheel was this big on one of these small grinders. I was only young then, young and stupid. Old and wise now. June mightn't think so. <laughs> Glad she can't hear me. Should have picked it up with pliers. 
didn't learn from yesterday. <laughs> Silly mistakes. Hey, it shows I'm alive. That's the best thing. Always shows you you're alive. We'll go through and test all those with the magnets, see what they're magnetic. This is classed as micro scrapping. So just bear with me, I'm getting as much as possible, as value as possible. Test all of those. And I've got to wave the magnet over it. We're getting the, well, this is a special one. Oh, that broke off. There we go. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was easy. Oh, but I want that off there. There we go. Put him there. Pull that wire out of the road. Same as that one. And these are a bit different. I'm going to grab the pliers for these. Don't want to put a screwdriver through the hand. Oop, that missed. Where did it go? Right there. No. Nope. I can't see where it went. No. Oh, well. Not to worry. Not to worry. Do, 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 do. Didn't want to look at the ground, did you? Not really. Let's go into there. Get that off there, that down there, that over there. Right, that is that one done, because the centre of that actually pops out. Ah, we'll go for the far one. We'll leave that last transformer to last. another one there so basically at the moment we've got a little bit uh, that can go over there if I don't process this stuff straight away I'm not going to get it it'll actually go all into, into actual steel so I'd rather get it as I go as I'm pulling them apart <coughs> oh dear I'm going to put that in the vice There's probably easier ways. It's the only way I know how to do it. I find it quicker and easier to do it this way anyway. Get rid of that crap in there. Cast it alloy. That's coming in here, doll. Oh, okay. One of the campers. Yeah. Okay. One of. Do, do, do. Might get exciting soon. 
basically just the same thing over and over at the moment. No, no, talking to everyone else. It's all good. It's all dandy. No, I won't. Wrong one. That one there. No. You shouldn't have threw it away. Damn. There it is. That one's a metal one. Hey, that's a good job. Good tool. Does it all in one go. Yeah. Put that over there. Good pieces of cast alloy here. Unless they're metal. Cast alloy. Put it in the vice. Yeah, go away, don't want to know you. Hammer, where's it gone? Wow, springs out. That's alloy. Rubbish over there. Oh, bring that closer. Not, not getting much rubbish at all, which is good. Stuck in there. Did it go away? I told you. You're probably a telemarketer. <laughs> Don't you just hate those people? Telemarketers? Hey, this is an easy one. Fantastic plastic in the back. I've never seen them like that. That down there. No, not answering yet. 
Kelly marketer. Don't know the number. Suspected spam. Straight out. Look at that. Not answering you. See you later, bro. <laughs> I don't like those people. Nothing but pains in the asses. Trying to get you to buy something that you don't want. Now, hold it with the clothes. Just about need three hands. Right, what I'll do is I'll just put these aside and we'll do them later. Even though I've only got probably three or four to do. I can do them a lot later. You've seen how I've done that, how they come apart. That's not coming off there. Why are you not coming off there? Well, we'll leave that on that, put that onto that. Keep things happening. Leave that in that. Mm, yeah, we'll leave that one with that. Put that with that. Screws down there, that's a bit quicker. Bring them over here. Go back in your hole. Over there, is it there? Deal with them later. Down to this one will be a grind out job. So what I've got to do, there's some rivets right there. As you can probably see, there's some rivets. Um, and then I've got to try and punch them out somehow. Somehow. I might just take those rivets off there, take those two plates out so this can actually come out. And then that can go straight into the steel. not going to work either. Mm. Get rid of that plate. Go that way, go that way. Yep. I reckon that's the geo. Sort of working. No T. 
technique. And get it off how you have it, you can. This is a difficult one, this one. There you go, got that. Right, and what's left? Yeah, we should be able to just take that off now. Keep going the way we're going. Break that rivet off. That one's off. Yep, that to there. Oh, look at the top of there. Oh, wow, don't grind them away. Little tiny bits of copper in there. I did not know that. Right there. Long nose. Micro scrapping at its best. Boom gate didn't come down. Oh, okay. You got people roaming in, have you? Mm -hmm. Got people roaming in. Got a gate up, a boom gate up the front there. And um, yeah, no, it hasn't come down. Got people roaming in and out where they usually got to pay to come in. So June's racing up there. Come on, you should come off now. Why aren't you coming off? Oh. I got to get that one off too. Oh, damn. Double damn. I'll leave that one to later. Leave it to later. Right. Getting down to these. These are the easy ones. So move our scrap bin up there a bit. Give us a bit more room. These are the easy ones. I love these. Put it in the vise, just give it a flog. Tap it out. Straight out the bum. Simple Simon. Push it out, grab a pair of pliers, pull that out. There's your copper. And all I do is I leave all the terminals on there and I just get the green side cutters over there and I just slice it. So this is the fast part. And then later on I'll get that copper off there as well. So we'll put that over there for processing later. Don't mind doing these. They are time consuming. Like I said, but it's worthwhile in the end. Oh, come on. Go this way. Thank you. 
clear it? I don't think so, though. I did. There we go. Can you imagine how much actually comes out of these? Um, this one here is a bit different. Like I was saying, you punch out the centre. Turn him over, go that way. They can go straight down there. Then they come off the ends. Metal flying out too. Come on. Why are you not coming? Well, now. go they just fell out wish they all done that a lot easier than cutting them with the grinder threw that on the floor this one's a bit different. Come to the side. He's off. He's going to be a bit of a trouble going one way. We'll go the other way. Now we'll have a look while he's in there. See how we get this apart. Well, that wasn't that hard. Look at that. It wasn't hard at all. Bits of brass on the end. Sort that out later. When I go to get the um, get the uh, um, copper off the outer edge. Had to think what I was trying to say. So if you're ever pulling pumps apart out of washing machines, this is what you're missing out on. If you don't get the motor, like if you don't get the motor out of the, from the pump, this is what you're missing out on. So it does take a bit of time to actually pull them apart. Well, these are the ones that didn't work. Rubber there, rubber there, okay. More rubbish. More rubbish. You can go there. Give that a crack that way.
good lot of copper there. That's the last one, eh? Oh, we don't want that. That's the last one. Yep. Yep. And this one's going to probably give me trouble. Mmm. Definite trouble. Let's see how we go. Go this way. I'll get a cold chisel out. Go straight down the side down here. See how we go that way. Moving it. If you're moving it. Oh, they'd be right. Don't want to come out. Get a bigger one. Get a bigger one. Got a bigger one. moving it it's a moving it yep got that out of there knew this one would be trouble Down to me anvil. Couple of railway lines. It's right through. Well. <coughs> Trouble in camp. gonna do now yeah, what are we gonna do hmm any suggestions anyone suggestions because I'm out I'm out of suggestions maybe not maybe not go this way Wash that flat back in there. Mm. 
Is it working? Is it working? Hey, <laughs> I'm a winner. I was a winner. I was a won the battle. I was a won the battle. <laughs> yeah, and that was a tra task and a half. Oh, now I've got to get that out of there. Could be easy, could be hard, we don't know. Yeah, we'll go that way. Go with a little toy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Got it. I won. That's down there for a change. Right, now I'll just show you how I usually do these. Um, I'll get a little bucket. A little bucket. Bear with me, everyone fine bucket yeah I've got better than a bucket all right what we've got to do with a lot of these we've got to pull that wire out we don't have to but I'm going to cut it out because um, there's a bit of solder in these that's copper the wire itself that plastic coating wire I've got to peel this off because I don't like putting it in put the rubbish bin right here underneath And what I usually do is I just go to with the side cutters, break a corner out if I can. If I can't, I'll just go right, right through the whole thing. I've done a video on some of these smaller ones, but some of these bigger ones I haven't. It's pretty much the same. Get all your copper out. Make sure you've got a clean cut before you pull it out. Screwdriver in the, in the gut. And it just peels out. So simple. We'll see how much we actually get into the tub. Geez, that's a lot. That's a lot off one. This goes as number two copper. To the fella I take it to. I'm thinking about changing go to somewhere else um, and because of distance wise where we've got to go like yeah we are in a major town but there's no one here in the major town that does it I've got to take it away out of town and I can't get there at the moment because of the floods so it's a bit of a dilemma a bit of a predicament really Done. Done. No, didn't cut. Has now. Couple of wings out of the road. Don't know where my little screwdriver's gone that I usually do this with. It's not here on the bench. Come on, off you come. That's the part that didn't cut. Now, what we just break it? It's still going to come off, which is a good thing. That in there. Just keep going with it, I suppose. Get it all done. Some of it's a bit hard. Oh. No, I didn't break anything. I broke through the plastic. That's it.
building up. All the little strands, try to get them. Some of them are easier than others. I think I need to adjust me, my cutters. Like when they come off like that, get that bit of plastic. Put that over there for later processing. We're just after the copper today. The copper rolls. Still got all the motors um, in the tub over there. Just thought I'd do a few small ones, show you how I do these. Uh, the bigger motors, they take a lot longer to do. Might do a video on one of them. Like the biggest motor I've got there. See how much copper we get out of it. Fairly big motor. It's out of a big air conditioner here. Rooftop air conditioner. Our alpha house. Oh, come off. Get the stickiness off the fingers. There's probably a quicker way, but I prefer to do it this way. Instead of doing it with the grinder and getting all your copper filings everywhere and plastic mixed in with it, I find this is the easiest way, not mixing plastic with it. It is finicky. But if you're willing to spend the time to get every strand, your mouse will get in and do it. Because if you've got nothing else to do, why not? Though I do have other things I've got to do, but I thought I'd just show you all of this. Very time consuming. I repeat myself, I do apologise. Nice. Try to get as much of this paper, plastic sort of junk off as possible. They don't like it. They like clean stuff. I could put it through as number one bright, but um, Last time I tried that, he said, no, nah, it's got a coating on it. And I thought, well, yeah, right, mate. Took that out of a transformer that had nothing on it. No coating. So, yeah, I don't try to put it as number one anymore.
Right. Next candidate. A few more to go. We'll start a bit of a small time lapse to finish it off. Getting down to our last, second last one here. So speeding along pretty well. This one I should be able to just push in there and pull it out. Pull it over. So, instead of cutting the plastic, I went and got some bigger tools. Just cut the plastic so much quicker and easier. Right, so we are just about done for this episode. We were only trying to recover how much, see how much we'd get out of a few little motors and that sort of thing. I've still got a lot to do in pulling a lot of motors apart, but yeah, I'm liking that. That's a lot of copper. 
that probably weigh about more kilo kilo of copper don't know what it's worth um, I've still got all of this here to process like get the copper off these um, I've still got to work out that one too so you add that in with that I got to work out how I'm going to do it I might have to get to with the grinder cut it this side cut it that side and um, yeah pull them out but we've got all the copper in here like you can see this this one here it's got a lot of copper on the on those two there's a fair few of those um, they're the big strands like this so yeah see how June's going down here how you going Danny honey getting there you almost finished by the looks of it geez you're doing well that I can't do yeah no that's fine I'll get in and do that the stringing, stringing. yeah that's fine we'll get in and do that later so if you've enjoyed tagging along with us at the moment uh, with this one um, yeah I, I don't mind getting the copper that'll go I'll put my can of coke down all this here it goes in this bin here come down to here and it goes straight into that lot there adds to our pile so we're not sure how much this would weigh but that's got some weight in it got a lot of weight in it i can't even lift it but anyway i'm not going to try and lift it um so don't forget to like subscribe and uh june and i will see you all in the next one cheerio